Okay, so you're studying Spanish and you're thinking about which dictionary to invest in. Well, here's, here's how you could choose. We have the complete and unabridged dictionary, 200,000 references. We have the concise dictionary, about 150,000 references. And we have the dictionary and grammar, about 80,000 references. Now, which would you choose? If you're thinking about going off to university to study a language, you love that language, you're thinking about becoming a translator, or maybe you want to work in the country, uh, you want to study the literature, you want to do lots of translation work, then the one to choose is the complete and unabridged. Yes, it's expensive, but it's a real investment. It will last you the four years of your university degree, it will stand you in really good stead for the two years of your A-level, and it will take you further if you want to go on to postgraduate work or work with the language afterwards. If you're maybe thinking that you want to go into something like marketing or business or law, but you'd like to carry on with languages because you're interested in languages, you think it might help you travel later in life, then probably the dictionary that you would want in that case would be the concise dictionary. 150,000 references will be more than enough if you're studying a language as a subsidiary subject at university, and again if you're aiming to do an A-level in that subject. If you're thinking about your year abroad, um, or you're thinking about traveling in a country and you want something that you can carry with you, then probably the dictionary and grammar is your best option. The others are a bit big to go in your backpack, let's face it. This one will fit in there fine and won't give you too much weight. It's got all of the words that you'll need on an everyday basis and it has a great practical grammar supplement. So it will help make sure that when you say something, you say it right and when you write something, you get that right too.